Of course, if we compare Z790 to B760, we're going to get much better results on Z790, right? Well, today we have another motherboard from ASRock that this right here, light, doesn't have to do literally anything with the motherboard. So, as I did with the AMD socket, today we're going to go with the LGA1700 and introduce to you the ASRock Z790 Tai Chi Lite. So, what's it all about with this board? We have a, let's say, a skimmed down design, but still we have a colored PCB in Tai Chi logos and everything else. Uh, quite nice passive heat sinks on the VRMs and on the M.2 SSDs. So, the only thing that is missing is the extra covers on the motherboard, which for some of you guys actually don't mean a thing. So, this is a skimmed version of Z790 Tai Chi, which still looks quite good, and you can see that from the close-ups. But uh, then again, what's up with the performance? Well, here we go. We have 24 plus 1 plus 2 power phase with 105 amperes SPS uh, smart power stage V-Core with SPS design which delivers, as already stated in the uh, other motherboard, an outstanding and smooth power to the CPU. Now we have PD 3.0 60 watts fast charging that supports up to 20 volts at 3 amperes and you do need to install the 12 volts uh, 6 pin power connector that usually goes to your GPU, you just have to connect it here. Now this motherboard supports 13th and 12th generation of Intel Core processors, LGA as already stated 1700 with the chipset Z790. The power phase design is SPS for V-Core plus GT, we have 4 slots for DIMMs for DDR5, Expansion slots 2 PCI 5.0 times 16 and 1 PCI 4.0 times 16. We have UHD graphics built in visuals and the VGA outputs that can be supported only with processors that have integrated uh, graphic cards. Now, graphic outputs 2 Thunderbolts 4, USB 4 Type C and 1 HDMI, storage 1 Blazing M.2 Gen 5 times 4, 4 Hyper M.2 Gen 4 times 4. Now, this is uh, unbelievable. And we have 8 SATA 3 ports. Uh, for the USB we have 2 Thunderbolts 4, USB 4 Type-C, uh, 1 USB 3.2 Generation 2 times 2 Type-C on front, uh, 2 USB 3.2 Generation 2 Type-A on the rear, 10 USB 3.2 Generation 1, 6 on rear and 4 on the front, and 6 USB 2.0, 2 on rear and 4 at the front. For audio, we have 5.1 channel HD audio Realtek ALC4082 audio codec with uh, ESS Sabre 9218 DAC, Vima audio caps and a Himic audio. LAN is Killer 2.5G with additional uh, Intel 1G LAN. And uh, for the wireless, we have Killer 802.11ax Wi-Fi 6E plus Bluetooth. And the form factor is E80X. It kind of does resemble to the B650E Tai Chi Lite. But regardless of that, we have an outstanding motherboard right here. So the Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 Type-C brings speeds uh, that uh, you'll be quite satisfied, 40 gigabits per second, provides PD 3.0 uh, charging, uh, which is unbelievable. Now for the I.O. overview, we have, as already stated, uh, first in line two USB 2.0, one HDMI, two antenna ports, uh, mic microphone in and audio out, SPDIF, uh, we have uh, two USB 3.2 generation 1 type A and two USB 3.2 generation 1 type A, then we got the gigabit LAN, uh, after that we have Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 type C, uh, 2.5G LAN, uh, another Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 type C and two USB 3.2 generation 2 type A. The design is outstanding when we take into consideration that this one actually has more M.2 slots than the B650 uh, with uh, loads of passive heatsink, so every M.2 is covered, which is outstanding. Now, what you need to connect uh, from your power supply to your motherboard and all depends, uh, do you really want to use the PD 3.0 fast charging? But I don't think you want to miss that opportunity. So two EPS cables, so that means two 8-pin for your CPU, one 24-pin, one 6-pin that goes either to your graphic card. So you just use the PCI and remove that uh, too, because this one is 6-pin. And uh, that's all when we're talking about the power supply. 
Then we have three addressable RGB headers, one RGB header. It supports ASRock uh, Hyper BCLK engine. For the VRMs, we have Nichicon 12K black caps. Then we have eight layer PCB design. It supports uh, memories that are actually on Expo and uh, XMP and can go up to 7200 megahertz uh, in OC, of course. Uh, for the graphics, it supports uh, Intel XC graphic architecture. The one HDMI that is on the IO ports is 2.1 TMDS compatible, supports HDCP 2.3 and maximum resolution is 4K 60Hz. While the two Intel Thunderbolt 4 ports are uh, support HDCP 2.3 and maximum resolution is 8K at 60Hz. The motherboard actually supports, and this is really cool, supports RISE 0, RISE 1, RISE 5, RISE 10 for the SATA storage and RISE 0, 1, 5 for the M.2 NVMe. Outstanding because you can actually, with this board, manage some nice storage in your PC if you're uh, up for that. Then we have a clear SMOS button, Dr. Debug LED, power button and the reset button. The size of the motherboard, since we know it's an E80X form factor, is 30.5 centimeters times 26.7. This is the build that I tested everything out and even though it has Intel Core i5 13400F I have something to compare it with. If you remember that Jonesbow D31 build where I used the ASRock uh, B760MPG Riptide I actually got quite an outstanding results and it's quite interesting to be able to check all of this out because, well, it's going to be interesting. So, let's start with some regular benchmarks. Indigo benchmark, a million samples per second. Bedroom for the CPU 0.282. I think uh, the Indigo benchmark uh, either doesn't recognize uh, the new generation of Intel Core processors, but regardless of that, uh, GPU 17.908 uh, and the supercar 1.004, while the GPU 45.673. Corona 1.3 render time is 101 second, while the samples are 4,767,000. AIDA 64 Extreme Edition, and this is where it comes uh, gets interesting. So we have a comparison this Z790 Tai Chi Lite to the uh, B760M, I, and I know there are different motherboards in a different price category, but just want to show you how it performs with even a mid low tier processor so cpu on this board 49 degrees of course it does impact the cooling as well don't get me wrong uh, cpu on this motherboard 49 degrees while on the b760m52 the clock speed 4100 while on the b764 4000 and the gpu temperature well that's basically uh, about the case now let's check uh, ASSSD. i used the several rocket uh, 4 plus g uh, AS SSD read speeds 5743.60 megabytes per second, write speed 5639.68 megabytes per second, Autodisk benchmark read speeds uh, 6.58 gigabytes per second, while the write speeds 4.65 gigabytes per second. Crystal disk mark read speeds 7029.96 megabytes per second, while the write speeds 3838.20 megabytes per second. Now, <laughs> Cinebench, this is where it gets interesting. So with the ASRock Z790 Tai Chi Lite, it had constant temperature at 51 degrees and the clock speeds at 4100 megahertz. I'm going to compare immediately now these two factors because on the B760M, the thermals went everywhere, literally, like 53, 48, 47, 54, 53. It was everywhere and you can see it from the graph. Even the clock speeds went out to 4100 to 3700, 3600. It's everywhere. Now, does this mean that this board is so stable, especially with the VRMs, especially with the whole design and everything is just outstanding? And then we go to <laughs> the most important thing, Cinebench scores. So with Z790 Tai Chi Lite, the scores were at 15, above 15,000. I would say some sort of an average was 15,000, I would say 100. While on the B760M with the same processor, it started at 13,693, but it lowered down at an average of 13,300. And this brings us to the point where, okay, we have a B760M PG Riptide, which isn't a bad motherboard, don't get me wrong. It's still great for the form factor that it serves. But when you get this type of board, which isn't that expensive comparing to 
the full Z790 Tai Chi. So with the all armor on the motherboard and everything else, this one still performs outstanding and it even gives additional boost to such low mid tier processor, which is really good. So imagine if you used 3900K. Unfortunately, I don't have that CPU to test it out because that would be quite outstanding to check out the performance with this board and then eventually use the B760M just to see the difference. But we can see it in low mid tier processor. We'll definitely notice that in a high end processor as well. So the only thing that is left to do is to wait for the 14th generation and then do the benchmarks all over again with new boards and this one as well to compare everything to give you more information, of course. So what I would say, if for some reason you're looking for a Z790, but you don't want to spend too much money, you still, I mean, don't get me wrong, it still costs. It's not like hundred dollars, hundred euros. It still costs, but compared to the full grown Z790 with all the armor and everything else, I think this one is even better packed when we're talking about connections, USB ports. I mean, I'm looking at them right here and they, it's just unbelievable. Okay. It does have a bit less uh, when we're talking about USB ports than the B650E Tai Chi Lite, but you have two Thunderbolt 4, type C connections right here at the back, which go up to 40 gigabits per second compared to the other one, which was only one. And you have two uh, LAN connectors here as well, which on B650 Tai Chi Lite, you have only one. So uh, yeah, depends. I mean, okay, those are two different platforms, but uh, that's it. Big thumbs up to ASRock for these two. So I'm still going to mention the B650E because for AMD, if you're looking for something in that price category, but you still want to have a performance mother that could actually deliver the performance from your processor, that's definitely still suggested. But if you're into Intel and you want to go with uh, their boards or their processors or however you want to take that into consideration, this is my recommendation. This is, I'm going to give this one two badges, PC crazy approved badge and PC crazy best buy badge in that high end tier segment, because I can't give it the best buy badge compared to some uh, lower tier motherboards because it isn't, but for the high tier end tier, uh, let's put it that way. Motherboards Z790 Tai Chi Lite is definitely a best buy. So guys, uh, links are in the description as per usual. So you know what to do if you're interested in checking it out You can just uh, drop down in the description below click the link and it will immediately redirect you to the Amazon that is uh, In your region so you can easily check out the price or eventually buy it if you desire to do so And that will be all for today. If you still didn't close the video Don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and click the notification bell for future content coming daily Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.